Turtle State has the biggest game in Hornet football history coming up this Saturday. And CBS 13's Andrew Hobner brings us the story of the oldest Division I skill position player in college football and his long road to the Capital Region. Kyron Griffin Isom's played a lot of football. I wake up and I'm like, dang, you know, I'm really playing Division I football and at the age of 29. And has lived many lives. His first life changed coming as a teenager. 80% of New Orleans, including much of downtown, is underwater. When Hurricane Katrina was happening, we evacuated. And then, you know, my mom was like, hey, let's go back, see if we got anything to ravage up and whatever we could grab. We get out of there. He went to high school in Tennessee and received a partial scholarship to Kentucky Wesleyan, but saw the armed forces as a calling. Every day I walk past that office, I'm like, I think, I think, I think this is where I'm supposed to be. You know, Marines, tough, challenging. And, you know, I had a challenge my whole life, so, you know, why stop death? Life changed again in that first four year deployment. My first deployment was Afghanistan in ways he didn't anticipate. My younger brother, uh, Edward, um, he was going to Southeastern at the time, um, and he was on a football scholarship at Southeastern. He ended up losing his life. A tragic irony. Here I am fighting for my country, you know, and he in New Orleans, and he lose his life instead. That led Kyron back to football. He didn't get to finish, you know, uh, what he wanted to do, what he started. At 22, his high school coach asked about hey, getting back in. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. But life had other plans again. I'm like, coach, you know, I just had my son, so, you know, I don't think that's a, a good idea for me to get out prematurely and not have a plan set up. So after a second deployment, Kyron gave football a shot at 26. Reached out to uh, Palomar College, and um, it just went from there. Which brought him to Sac State. <laughs> at 29. He's just the guy that any obstacle in his way, he tries to overcome it and does a really good job at it. Where he's thrived. If you're passionate about something, you know, there's, there's, an avo there's an avenue for you to go and pursue that passion. And can carry the legacy of his brother and inspire his son. By, by him seeing me play, you know, college football, he's like, you know, dang, my dad was in the Marine Corps, in the military, and he got out and started playing college football, then why can't I do that? Well, Griffin Isom and Sacramento State hosts Montana this Saturday at 8 p.m. in the program's first ever nationally televised game.